I can't tweet this at you because you blocked me, so I hope this gets to you another way. Dear President Trump, I know I don't look so good. I've been undergoing chemotherapy since May, and it takes a lot out of you. Uh, but the good news is that Obamacare is keeping me alive and can cure my stage 4 cancer, but I need to keep my insurance. Uh, and your latest plan uh, will put me and millions of other Americans at risk. Uh, because despite what you have said on Twitter, this bill does not protect people with pre-existing conditions. It leaves us to the mercy of insurance companies, and we know how well that worked a few years ago. It's really important that you hear us, that you see us, that you understand who you're putting at risk. You promised months ago that you would have health care reform that would make things better, more affordable, that wouldn't leave anybody out in the cold. But I think you should read your own bill because it's, it, it puts us all at risk. I don't understand why any senator, let alone my senator, Senator Heller, would think that this is a good idea. Why throwing hundreds of thousands of Nevadans like me off their health insurance is a good plan so some fat cat billionaires can make a few extra dollars. What is the reasoning behind that? I would really like to know. I can't ask you directly because you blocked me on Twitter. I don't know why, but uh, it doesn't seem like anybody can reach you unless they go on Fox. And I'm not really in Fox-worthy shape right now, uh, but my life has meaning. Millions of Americans facing terrible diseases or accidents, like a car accident. Our lives have meaning, and throwing us to the mercy of the insurance companies is not the way to go. We need the protections of the Affordable Care Act so that people with pre-existing conditions will be covered, so that uh, people at or near the poverty line can have access to the Medicaid expansion to pay for it, and we need somebody that will stand up for us rather than selling us out. We'll see if that's you, President Trump.